With any luck in the future, there may be many conflicting occasions of invitational opportunity to agonize over which to cover, but in 2022, I only had two. Occasions of invitational opportunity, that is, and out of 8760 hours in the year, they managed to precisely collide the very same minute, and I sort of mean that literally. This is one of those OOIOSs. So what was the other, you might wonder? Well, viewers of my film featuring the dismantling of the Joseph Sappington Cabin, Doesn't Speed Video Series 255, might remember I mentioned that I didn't record the moment the roof was lifted off the cabin because I'd left to catch another appointment. Well, this was that appointment, and this is what I filmed anyway when the guy didn't show up. He did have the courtesy to cancel before the meeting, but I had already left the house for the day by the time I got the email. This is the third entry into the Dozen Speed video series, and for those who need context and can't be bothered to scroll up my other two cinemas featuring this very building, here is the short, short version as I understand it, starting with my notes from a previous semester. This 1911 building designed by Albert B. Groves was built in St. Louis, Missouri for the Third Christian Scientist Church. At some point it was taken over by a congregation of the New Paradise Missionary Baptists who occupied the space for a number of decades up until around 2013. It was then purchased to be one of over a dozen branches of the Carpellis Manuscript Library, which is widely considered to be the largest private collection of historical documents in the world. Unfortunately, the endeavor only lasted a mere three and a half years before a devastating fire struck the night of March 26, 2019. Thankfully, through the valiant work of roughly 80 St. Louis firefighters, virtually all of the artifacts were saved. According to internet, this building has been deemed restorable by the city of St. Louis and was purchased in April of 2020 for $20,000. Now, I believe that I was to meet the guy who bought the building and spent a few bucks gutting the shell with the intent of making luxury condos out of the place. He seemed keen to show me around and talk about the building and his plans but I've concluded those have changed as I never managed to get another chance at such a meetup since the correspondence dissipated and before this building went back on the market. That brings us up to speed as I know it. Haven't heard much lately. Probably a limited market for this kind of thing. I hear the music creeping in, so that must mean it is time for me to quit talking as it seems the rest of this is just basically a ruined Carpellis Manuscript Library music video. Thank you for watching.